All right, hey champs, nothing but love. Hey, what now? See, when you're talking about gang culture, you can only give your story. So my story goes a little something like this. Without going too deep, grandmother, 13 years old, running around West London, no guidance. Children's homes, in and out of children's homes, running around children's homes. People taking the piss, being abusive, abusing my grandmother, but she's on her own too. Listen, oh, and just to let you know, set the record straight, she's still here. She's got her own property. She's still here. She's flying eagle. But overstand, she has my mum at 16. My mum then, same said ting. Rough upbringing. Nan never had no guidance, therefore mum can't have no guidance. So mum sort of, you know, doing her own thing. She's young, had me at 16, whatever. Um, it's, it's hard. It's hard times. It's hard times. My mum, the only difference between my mum and my nan, my mother, she had an addiction. She had a drug addiction. So man tasted crack from before I even touched the road. No, don't wait there. <laughs> man touched crack before they even touched the road. Your journey starts from when you're in the oven, champ. Your journey starts from when you're in your mum's stomach. Overstand the music you listen to, the food your mum's eating, and whatever else. But check this. So I'm born now. Man can't even, man can't even live, bro. I'm, 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 on, the, I'm on the life support machine. I'm, I'm on the verge of going back to where I come from. You know them way there, not keeping nothing down. I'm skinny like a matchstick, whatever. Anyway, boom. I'm good after six months, whatever, I'm good. Born into a trap house, born into the trap house. Some man begged the trap. Some man begged the road. Some man begged gangster. Me, I was born into it, champ. It's no hype, it's not a glorifying thing. I am just being honest. Man tasted crack before they touched the road. Overstand, understand, and understand what I am saying. House was a bit mad. You know, people in and out, fucking crackheads in and out, flipping road man in and out. Um, my mum in and out of jail, in and out of the home. You see things, you see certain things and it just, your mind, this is your paradigm. So from birth up until you're like 10, 11, this is your paradigm is conditioning. You're being conditioned, right? So, um, yeah, deep in and out, West London, East London, always backwards and forwards car. Mum was going to jail constantly, in and out of jail. My point is this whole gang thing is... Um, it's a family, it's a, it's, it's, it's a way of life. It's not, it's not part-time, it's, 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 it's full-time. It's a way of life. It's a family, it's a togetherness. Unfortunately, in my situation, there was no knowledgeable people around. There was no one with any real substance. It was all just loose and just raggle, ruthless, whatever went. If it's on, it's on. Man got licked down, um, whatever. It, that's what it was, innit? So I've grown into this. People dying, you hear people chatting, your aunt's getting banged up by her boyfriend in your front room. She looks like fucking elephant man flipping. Um, you, you're tussling with your mum for, for, for crack at 10. Tussling with your mum. No, don't smoke that. No, I'm not smoking it. Throwing it out the window. Going out, angry. Coming back. 10 years old. Coming back. See, seeing the same said thing. Tussling with your old mumsy for the crack pipe, you know? Like at 10, who does that? <laughs> Overstand what I'm saying. So I'm born into the trap. I'm born into the trap, literally. So, as man get older, I'm sort of skipping a little bit now. Man get older. Obviously, I'm familiar with East London because I've always been backwards and forwards. Car mum was always in and out of jail every two years, 18 months, two years, whatever. So now I'm East London and we get busy. I'm in school. Man called me the loan shark. I would give man dough and have, man would have to pay me back but give me some mad percentage back. Man would tax man also. Man would have to pay man every lunchtime, whether it would be a pound or two pound. You'd have to give me something every lunchtime. There was many man. If it was you and you're listening to this, I'm sorry, forgive me. It's nothing but love now. The chapters change. But I understand what I'm saying. The gangster living, the gangster life is done from before you touch the road, before you touch the road, before you come out to earth, bro, it's, 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 it's you, you're patterned, you're programmed, you understand. So this is what I'm trying to, my point is the gang culture, yeah, a lot of men are born into it and to change it is effort. Can you change it? All right. You're on the block, you got no dough. Man send you country, you're broke, right? Six months later, you got dough. Six months later, you've been country, 
you've hustled, you've had a bit of beef, you've, you've, had, you've been chased by feds, you, you, you've licked out bare food, you've banged man up, you've done this, you've done that. My point is, you've, you, you, you was hungry, you, you, you was ruthless, you had that lion heart, you went and got it done. Over Stan Champ, you need to do the same thing with changing the chapter in your life. You must get it done because you're not cheating yourself. You're cheating the next generation. You're not cheating yourself. You're cheating your kids. You're not cheating yourself only. You're cheating your wife. You're cheating everyone around you and everyone who's coming after you. So understand this. Everything I do is for the next gen. Everything I do is for my kids. Everything I do is for the next governing body, the next paramedic, the next important person. This is what it's about. If we're not teaching the, the youngest them, we're killing them. If they're not growing, they're dying. If you're not growing, you're dying. So overstand this, this, overstand this gang culture. It's nothing but love. It's not as bad as it looks. It's nothing but love, really and truly, when you think about it. Fam, what are we saying, fam? What are we saying, blood? It's another form of family. We are saying, cuz? It's another form of family. When it's beef, it's on. Yeah, it's on. But the, <laughs> man don't really sit and think. Or man don't really... When man go to jail, that's when man sit and think. When you got 15 and you're behind the door, that's when you're thinking. When you're out on the road, you've got something to prove, something to prove. No, that's not cool. That's not cool. Keeping it real is doing what you really want to do. If you don't actually want to lick man down, don't go and lick man down. Don't do that. You need someone to guide you. You need someone who you can look up to and say, do you know what, that's a good point of view. Do you know what, let me take heed of that. Let me read it. That's it. Drugs weren't put here for you to be flourishing. Drugs were put here for destruction. They weren't put here for you to be flossing, champ. I understand what I'm trying to say. This gang culture, this knife crime, what we've got right now, you're never going to stop it fully. You're not going to stop it fully. You're not going to have a world where no one gets shanked. People are going to get shanked. But we can, we, can, we can help prevent prevention over cure. We can help prevent this from happening as much as it's happening. You've got people doing mad positive stuff out here, but no one's promoting it. Why? Because that's not where the bag is. The bag is in the hype. The bag is in the fantasy. The bag is in the bullshit. People love the hype. People love the, the, the facade. and, and like, Why? The, the truth is... When your one gets licked down, then you're going to be mourning and you're going to be blowing. So before you start blowing and mourning and getting mad and vexed and whatever, try and breed what you want into life. Do it. Take action. Think about it. Apply it. And it will come to pass. Because when you're doing all whatever you're doing and then shit hits the fan, then you're on a moan. But prior to that, you was, you was promoting what's just happened. So how can you now moan? Are you a hypocrite? Listen, the idea is people. We overstand, understand, and understand. Get story from our people. Get your history from your people. Don't listen to a different people giving you, your, giving you your history. Hence why the word history, it's his story. We need our story. We need our story from our people. This is what it's about. Without going too deep, Armour, Grand Minister, hit me up on the Instagram. DM me on the Instagram. Me message me on this on the YouTube. Let's talk, let's, let's communicate, let's bounce off each other, let's grow. Let's help each other grow. This is the key. Unity is power. Unity is power. You are sweet on your own, you are hard on your own, but as a collective, you are even more powerful. Overstand, please. Um, like, subscribe, share, tell the people them, oh, I'm out here. This was just a brief touch on gang culture. Just a brief snippet on gang culture. Remember, gang culture starts from the... Listen, for a lot of men I know... Remember, I'm talking from my story. A lot of men I know were born into this gang culture. There's a lot of men out here who... They've had a hard life, but they've chose to go and do the gang stuff. And they've chose to go and... No, no, no. There's men who are born into this. So this is all you know. This is your paradigm. You know like when you're born with a silver spoon and your dad's rich and all you know is Florida every year. Or all you know is Bentley outside on the drive when you're going to school. All you know is caviar. All you know is... Do you get me? That's all they know. They don't know about trapping. Well, it's the same, but on the flip side. All you know is to bang man up when they run out of their mat. All you know is to shank a man. All you know is that when you need dough, you need to go to the trap or go and get your runner on the road. Or go. This is a paradigm shift. So to change this, we need to change our mindset. How do you change your mindset? By listening to people who are, who are, who are knowledgeable in areas where you want to get knowledge. This is the only way we grow, champs. You can't look at a dancer 
and think, yeah, no, holler at your bread when he's a dancer and he's gonna tell you he's gonna teach you how to become a pastor. No. You're not gonna call your brethren who who who's a footballer and ask him how to how to do um maybe I don't know, let's say computer IT. No, 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 no. Have it with people who are in the field you wanna be in. So let's say for argument's sake you wanna be a trapper. Go and link the big man and see what I go on and learn how to trap.